get this audio linked up. What's up guys, my name is Roman Gonzalez. If you don't know who I am, I am a photographer, filmmaker, specializing in music videos and commercials. I worked all over the country, I used to live out on my Prius, going state to state, just shooting cheap videos. Today, what I wanna do is just edit a couple of photos that I took last night. I ended up stuck out taking photos of like the moon and the clouds with my wide angle 15 to 30 Tamron that I have on here right now, just cause it's all I had on me. So I'll show you how I'm gonna chop up those photos. Definitely wanna do a more in-depth tutorial in the future on how I edit photos photos that have human subjects in it, different types of edits, you know, once you're starting to involve skin tones and different colors and color grades, it just gets a little bit different. So I'm definitely going to do more of these tutorials, but for now, I'm just going to chop up these few photos I took last night and let's see what I can do with them. I do not have two cameras on me. I'm turning you guys around, show you my screen and show you how to how I edit these photos. Let's get it. Okay, once again, I apologize for the image quality, but this is just how I got to do it right now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm up here. So Selected in library. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna hit import. Now, what I've already done is I have separated my photos from my videos in my vlog folder. I'm gonna go to vlog, and then I already have the folder of just the photos. These are all the photos I took. I tend to snap away a little bit. I just like to have a lot of options. You can go over here, click import. I took 41 photos. You can check out the vlog footage I got from this day as well. Link it right up there. After you have everything imported, you wanna go from library, go over, click develop. That's gonna bring up your develop tab. Here are my photos. There's only 40 of them. What I'll usually do is just kinda of take a quick skim through. Just delete any of them that I know I'm not gonna want. Sometimes I delete the duplicates, sometimes I keep the duplicate so that I have an opportunity to maybe try something different with the edit. What I was trying to do is get some shots that I could maybe zoom in, zoom in on on the moon. The moon was looking insane, it had like, it was like peeking through the clouds. It looked just like perfect, so cinematic. I was trying to get it, but it's hard with this wide angle. I really wish I had my 100 millimeter or at least a 50 millimeter on me, but I'm gonna see if I can salvage these. They still look pretty good. I took a bunch right here because this market is dope. I was trying to catch the moon behind it. I failed. Oh, that one's pretty good. These are pretty good right here. A little open space. Oh, that one's nice. It looks like a duplicate. Last couple as it's getting darker. It's got the moon right there. Uh, I really wish I had a longer lens, but it is what it is. We're going to do what we can. And you know what? I'm shooting an all eye right now. Let me just switch it over to IPB so I don't run out of space on this card. Cool. I just switched over my codec from all eye to IPB. It takes up way less space on my camera. If you're shooting on ESR, it's a little tip. If you're running out of space, switch to IPB. Some of you guys might already shoot IPB, but anyways, let's get the, okay, I'll keep these. These look decent. Now I'm end I've ended up with 28 photos. Now what I'll do, I'll go back to the beginning, start with the photos, and see we've got all these presets here on the left. These are built-in presets that are built into Adobe Lightroom. Pretty much any software that you're using to edit photos, anything similar to Lightroom, is probably gonna have some presets there for you. Just like this, so you got natural, bright, high contrast, high contrast in detail, vivid, matte. Ooh, vivid looks pretty cool. I really like, I really wanna make these colors pop because the colors were just popping so much, just like the reflection off the clouds and everything, it was, it was just beautiful. The evenings have been incredibly beautiful lately. It is late June and I live near Los Angeles. The one that I usually jump at is warm contrast. It just seems to be the most balanced for me. There's, it's not like leaning too much to one color, but this looks really cool. It's really moody. And then you got these black and whites down here. You got defaults, whole bunch of cool presets down here. I never use these down here. I have one, ooh, my user preset looks kind of cool. I think I'm just gonna start with what I normally start with and go with this warm contrast. Usually I'll play with the color temperature a little bit. It goes from blue all the way to orange. I wanna find that happy medium I'm still getting some colors in the clouds, some colors in the sky. It was all the way up to 50,000, all the way down to 2,000. Put it at about 5,000. 5,127, I think that looks good. I'm gonna mess with the exposure. And if you don't know what to do with these dials, and I'll try to zoom in a little bit more. If you don't know what to do with these dials, the best way to figure out what looks best is just to play with them. Just run it all the way back or all the way up. Take it back slowly until you find that perfect mark that you like. So I'm just gonna mess with all these dials. 
Just mess with all of them so you can have a good understanding of what each adjustment is gonna do. And then you'll get kind of get the hang of what you like. Sometimes I like to crush the black, sometimes I like to push them up. It really just depends on the environment. As far as texture, clarity, dehaze, again, it's gonna depend on the style. Sometimes I like to bump that texture up, get, I mean, I'm sorry, bump up the clarity. Sometimes I like to actually bump the clarity down a little bit and push the texture up. Pretty much always what I do is I bring the saturation down and I push the vibrance up. It just gives it that little little kick of color. Well, I'm pretty happy with how this is coming out, but I'm not super happy. I'm gonna work on the curves a little bit. Usually try to see if um, bringing this down at all will make a difference. I mean, it definitely does. like that right uh, now I'm gonna keep going down to right here I've got my HSL we got hue saturation luminance when you change the hue it's gonna change um, the color of each color so it's gonna make that red more orange or more red make the orange more yellow or more oh I like that I like how it's go going towards pink when I change the orange like that oh I like that pink but I don't want to make it too much pink, you know what I'm saying? I want to make it still look realistic, but I really want to make these colors pop. So I'm just playing with the hues, really. Um, playing with the, all the different colors. That's really cool. That's really cool. Saturation. I think I like all these. Maybe bump up the saturation a little bit on the blues. See, I thought this was pink, but I guess it's orange. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming, oh, I like when I push up the yellows, how that looks. And that looks pretty good. It's a little bit, maybe over too much vibrance or satch. It's a little unrealistic. Just pull that saturation back a little bit. And... We'll go back next with the highlights and exposure a little more. That's that's pretty much it. I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Now I can't say it looks exactly. I'm, it's not exactly where I want it to be, but I'm not sure it, what's missing. To be honest with you, it might just be missing some better a better subject, better composition. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this photo up going to strain this out a little bit. I plan on sticking with the same vibe for the rest of these edits. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and hit Command C, which is going to be the copy shortcut. And right here I can select which settings that I would like to copy. Pretty much gonna select all of them except for any crop transformation or anything like that. So I'm gonna hit copy, just go to the next photo and I'm gonna hit Command V, which is going to add the same exact edit. Um, if I hit Command Z to undo, you can see what it looked like before. And then Command Shift Z to redo. Brings up a little bit of light. So I'm gonna bring these highlights down. Ooh, if, when I bring the highlights down, it really makes those clouds pop. That's something that I didn't do before. I'm going off of the same base edit as the last one, but I'm still adjusting a little bit as needed. I do like pushing that up. That's looking pretty sweet to me. And I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Maybe you mess with the curves a little bit. Maybe I don't like this much pink in the clouds. It's a little unrealistic. Leave a little bit. Luminance is something that I haven't messed with. See, look at that luminance on the reds. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Try maybe try to straighten it out a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm looking at these poles. I'm looking for any straight lines, horizontal or vertical, and I'm trying to match that up with the box right here so that it ends up looking straight. Sometimes I'm, I'll match a horizontal line and it'll, see I'm matching this horizontal line but it makes the vertical line go off. That's just because it's a wide angle because of how I'm shooting it. But you just wanna you know, get it as close as possible to have an even photo. I want these lines to be straight. I think that looks best to me right there. Now that I made a new edit, what I'm usually gonna do is copy that edit. If I made changes, move on to the next one. A little bright, just lower that like that. Straighten it out.
See, this one ended up coming out really blue, so I'm going to play with the color temp a little bit. I think that looks a little better. I think that looks really dope. Um, there's kind of a duplicate, maybe throw a different uh, filter on there just to have it. That vintage instant looks pretty nice. I'm going to just throw that on there just because it looks dope. Just to have another look. Sometimes I like to throw a different look in there. I'm not going to copy it though because I'm going to stick to this vibe for the main edit. That looks dope. I'm just going to crop this a little bit to make the subject more apparent. Oops. If I hold down shift while I make it smaller, it's going to keep the same proportions. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can crop in on this helicopter a little bit. This is the type of thing I was trying to do. That's dope. Damn, that one, that's on a wide angle. That's solid. That's 30 millimeters right there. I'm loving the quality of these new cameras. You can get so much quality out of it. I really want to keep this photo, but it really doesn't look great. I'm going to be honest. Maybe if I make it like a horizontal photo. That's kind of cool. I'll keep it. I don't know about that. Just throw, oh, that's pretty sick. See, I almost didn't keep this photo, but then I threw the filter on it. I'm like, okay, that looks dope. Mess with it a little bit. Feel free to spend as much time on these as you want. This tutorial is not meant for you to just go and copy my edit exactly. You wanna play with these dials and everything to customize it to your liking. You gotta remember that color grading, editing is subjective. So if you think it looks good, it looks good to you and you can improve upon that. Hopefully this gives you a good grasp of how these tools work and how you can use them to your liking. See, I'm finding that, that as it gets darker, there's just too much blue in here. Kind of want to warm it up, brighten it up. Copy that. That one's pretty cool once I crop it. I already have one with a mirror in the shot, so I'm just gonna go on. I think that looks dope. Yeah, that's sick. That's all right, that's kind of cool, I guess. I think what I was trying to do with this was just crop in on the telephone pole. But I think I like how it looks like this. Maybe just Bring it in like that. That's pretty cool. And then there's that moon I was trying to get. See what we can get here. Throw it right in the middle. Damn, that is the shot I was trying to get, but I was trying to get it when the clouds were positioned differently. I couldn't get it from where we were at the time, so I'm pretty bummed about that. But you know what? It is what it is. I still was able to get some decent content, still able to help you guys grow. And yeah, I don't think this one is going to help much. Let's leave that one like that. It looks kind of cool. This is really dark. Brighten it up a bit. Crop out the dashboard. Nice, nice, nice. Coming along. Almost done, I'm finishing these up. I'm good on these. I don't think they're super salvageable. That's kind of cool. I'm just gonna crop this part out. I don't know what I would ever do with that, but whatever. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift and hit my left arrow key. I'm gonna highlight all 23 of these photos I've just edited. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up to File, Export. Um, it's gonna bring up these options. Actually, I've been forgetting to do this. I've been 
I've been exporting all my photos at like mid-range quality, but I'm gonna move this quality dial. It's because I updated my Lightroom app. I forgot to do this, but I'm gonna upgrade that quality uh, level up to 100. I'm gonna keep the image for format JPEG is what I wanna export as and the color space sRGB. Um, now the specific folder I'm gonna put it in is the folder where I have all the original photos as well as the videos from that day. Um, it's not this folder here. I'm gonna choose the correct folder here. First workout vlog, photos, choose that. And then I'm gonna put it in edited subfolder so that they're separated from the raws and hit export. And we are off. Exporting 23 files. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right, it's taking forever. We'll go ahead and turn you all around. Yeah, so that concludes my first, very first Lightroom tutorial. I appreciate you for watching, man. If you enjoyed this content, it would mean so much to me if you just drop a like on this video. It really helps out a lot. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying this type of content, you're enjoying my personality and me sharing it with you guys. Um, it's such a pleasure to share with you guys. I appreciate all the love everyone has been showing me. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the old subscribers, man. I appreciate you guys for coming with me on this journey. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay confident. Peace.